So, Merry Christmas uh, to everyone, and it's currently, Alexa, what time is it? It's 12.02am. 12.02am. And, uh, yeah, it's Christmas Day 2021. Who thought we'd be here? So, we're going to start with the stocking. Also, I realised I never opened all the Mr. Men calendar things, which I'm going to have to do after Christmas now. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's begin with the stocking. Galaxy Chocolates. Uh, my second favourite galaxy. What's my first favourite? Um, my tablet and my phone. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to put these back in afterwards, otherwise they're going to go all over the place. Says. Okay, so this is uh, Hotel Chocolates Everything H Box. Okay, uh, 14 of our most iconic chocolates. Again, I'm not a huge fan of chocolate just because um, one, it makes it really thirsty and two, it can be silly. Uh, what's this? More more bloody chocolate. Um, Cadbury's Heroes. I do like Cadbury's Heroes. So, right, so yeah. Um, this one's like, what is this? Oh! Oh, it's the Mr. Man, Mr. Sneeze. So. Yeah, it's Mr. Sneeze. So opening up. So yeah, these were a McDonald's toy which uh, was to celebrate the Mr. Meng's uh, 50th anniversary. But uh, yeah, there there he is. Mr. Sneeze. Everyone, Mr. Sneeze. I do like Mr. Sneeze. Is this not... Yes, his nose is rag, so... Yeah, so obviously at the end of the Mr. Sneeze book, spoiler alert, um, Mr. Sneeze's nose turns blue, though in every subsequent appearance of Mr. Sneeze, his nose is back to red. Celebrate good times, come on! Let's celebrate. Ah, well, teasers. Now the thing with Maltesers, um, these used to be a pound these boxes but they're now two pound. But also Maltesers, the only pro problem I have with Maltesers is, is that like as soon as I open this box I will eat the whole thing with one bloody go. I, Maltesers are just so bloody addictive. They, get, they are, they're just so addictive. And the Amer I've tried the uh, American Whopper equivalent. I'm not talking about the burger, I'm talking about the, the chocolate uh, Whopper. It's got no taste. It's got no taste. Oh, we've got another one. Uh, this is Mr. Cool. This is Mr. Cool. So, is Mr. Cool cool? Let's have a look. Oh, the box is slightly back on that side. So, here is Mr. Cool. Um... I don't remember the book to this one. I really don't. I probably did have it as a kid. I probably don't, but I don't remember it at all. Literally, I have zero memory of it. So, yeah, that, there's Mr. Cool trying to be... It feels like... Ah, now these I actually picked up today from the co-op. Uh, this is Salty there, KP Nuts. Um, because I asked... I asked uh, my mum for some... And she forgot to get them, so she said, I'll just grab them today. So I, I literally grabbed them from the co-op and just shoved them in. So she scores me too quick for them. It won't be a Christmas without some uh, deodorant and body spray. To, uh, basically for your family to tell you what a smelly bastard you are. Uh, so, yeah. So, links. I hope my mum didn't pay that much for it. She probably didn't. But it's cheaper buying these individually than it is in these gift sets. Um... Though I did ask for this. I always ask for them because uh, I, I do like Link's uh, body washing deodorant. In fact, here's my regular deodorant, which is a Link's Africa. So, yeah. What, what? Oh, this is uh, an air duster for my keyboard. As this bag rips, no. So this is frosted wine gums, wine gums with cocaine. T 
Ted Baker London. Okay, Ted Baker London deodorant. Again, this is all going to be just like sweets and that until we get to the actual presents. M&M's and friends. Uh, Peanuts, Crispy, the Sassy One, and a Mars and a Twix. Okay. Another Mr. Man. This one is Mr. Rush. Have a look at him. So, yeah, Mr. Rush, I just remember him as just being a giant play button. And again, it's one of the ones that I don't really remember anything about the story about him. Um, I do remember, though, in the 1990s Mr. Meng TV show, uh, his, his, he would have his own theme that would just go... Da -la 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 -la. <laughs> Although I think it was just a general thing, like... Da -la -da -da -la -da -da -la -la. What is it? Okay, so this, this. Uh, I don't know what that said. Uh, this is white chocolate and cranberries from Hotel Chocolate. Again, why so much bloody chocolate? Um. Oh, what's this? This one. Oh, so this. Uh, this is a set, a three pack of remote control LED lights, uh, and these cost uh, five pound from Poundland. But uh, these will be useful for uh, filming. So yeah, I can stick these in several places, and um, the fact that they're also remote controlled. So yeah, lovely jubbly there. L'Oreal for men, three in one. Um, well, no, this isn't. This is. Scratch resistant shower. Yeah, it's three in one body, face, and hair uh, shampoo thing. Jelly tots! I love jelly tots. I love jelly tots. Nothing else, because like, I love jelly tots. No, oh, this one's got a bit scratched up. Sure for men. Sport cool. I hope this isn't one of them, you know, uh, like the lem Zen lemony fle fresh or the mint fresh ones, because them ones just give me a bit of a rash. Those ones are me. Same with the shampoos. I don't like the the cool fresh ones. They just give me a bit of a rash. Oh, for fuck's sake! A Peppa Pig sponge. A Peppa Pig sponge. My mum has got me this because she knows I fucking hate it. Although at least it's a sponge, at least it's something useful. Um, this This just came off something. It's a little Batman tag. I don't know what it just said, but... <laughs> it's just come off something I just grabbed that's heavy and I think it is this <laughs> oh god that face that face why is that face what is that face <laughs> oh and it's his head so that's why this came off okay so this is a this is a, this is a Batman bubble bath. I just find that really funny. I just find that really funny. I don't know why. Snickers, you're not you when you're hungry. They just fell down there. Great. I think the Mr. Bean one's the funniest one. Kit Kat Chunkies, because they're regular cat. Because you've got to have them chunky. This is broken half. Uh, dairy milk winter orange edition. Okay, interesting. I would have thought it would have been a Terry's chocolate orange, but okay. Ah! These are being a bit crushed, but these are USB C to headphone jack adapters, uh, which are going to be used for my tablet. Uh, these are £2 each at Poundland, although currently most of them are, have sold out. Um, in most places, but yeah, um, 
I've actually got one opened, which I've just knocked over the cassette there. And uh, that's what they look like, just regular thing like that. But yeah, finally, you know, pound land or selling them, but for two pound. Another box of Maltesers. Ah, now this is a um, set of screwdriver heads for my drill. So that is legitimately useful. Again, that was from Poundland. Um, I remember picking that out. Oh God, what the fuck? So this... This is a, I hope she didn't pay too, but this is a Space Jam A New Legacy, or Space Jam 2, uh, Bugs Bunny Stress Ball. I'm not going to open that. <laughs> it might be a collector's item that is worth a fortune, and I think, yeah, that's everything in there. So, oh, all the sweets and chocolate are just going to go back in there for now. Um, actually, you know no, 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 Batman, you stay out. Batman and body wash and stuff can stay out because I can put them in the bathroom. But uh, any sweets can go back in there because, one, I need the space, and two, you look too tempting to bloody, you know, go to myself on. I'm not going to yet, though, because, um, you know, I, ha I had a Chinese for my tea. And chow mein. <laughs> um, yeah, it's all going there. Yeah, that'll do for now. So, on to presents. On to actual presents. So, this is when we get to the good scuff, people, where we get to the scuff you know that is actually worth a damn. So, first thing, and uh, I accidentally opened this um, on camera, but I don't think I ever showed it, but this If I'd have known it was damaged, I would have took it back. Yeah, I'm going to try and take that back. I've still got the receipt. That is damaged in the corner there. So we're off to a good start, aren't we, on the main presents? But uh, just to show you what it was, it's uh, Lincoln Park Last Acoustic Christmas LP, which, yeah... I'm going to contact, uh, I know it's, I think it's been past 28 days, but I'm going to contact the company and tell them about that, because that is scruff, scuffed at the corner. I don't to see ding on the corner, I scruff, so not happy with that. Um, so that was a bad start. Now, this next thing um, is uh, from Reese. With my friend Reese, and uh, one of the packages he got me, unfortunately, it came today while I was uh, having a shite, so uh, I couldn't answer the door. So I'll have to get that on um, probably Tuesday now. And uh, I can't show you the packet because it's got his address on one side and mine on the other. Um, there's a message here. Oh, it's just his address again. This package is bloody difficult to open. Alright, so there we go, we got it out of the initial envelope. So what is this thing? Because he did get me a little pin badge as well, like I said, Ryan J. Cheshire 4K Blu-ray Ripper. Which I thought was alright, but it's like a bit of a waste of money because he does like to get me shit gifts. What is this? What is this? Oh! Um, oh, I actually like this, sort of, I sort of like, this looks like it's from Wish.com almost, but you probably got it off eBay. So this is a little chucky uh, key ring which the camera doesn't want to focus on. There we go. Yeah, that. That is uh, quite nice, actually. That's quite nice. Yeah, it's me oh. I was going to say, it's nice, it's made metal. It's completely fucking hollow on the other side. So it kind of ruins it a bit with that. But, uh, yeah, that's all right. That's nice enough. Let's 
So, nice. This is uh, the 20th anniversary 4K book of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Now, for some reason, you can only get the 4K version of this as a book. You can't get it as a regular release. You can get the regular Blu-ray as a regular release, but you can't get, if you want it, the 4K 20th anniversary version, uh, you've got to get the skill book, which is in the UK exclusive to Zavi. And uh, my mum was a bit annoyed um, because, and I was annoyed as well, because uh, basically the week after this was bought, or two weeks after this was bought, they had a Harry Potter sale where it went down in price, which is really annoying. But yeah, let's open this up. Also, the first two films. Uh, this one and the Chamber of Secrets are the only ones that are true 4K Blu-ray. The other ones aren't. Uh, the other ones are all upscale. So yeah, this this one and the other one are the only ones worth getting in true 4K. But yeah, um, so while those annoying ones, where it's kind of like a papery thing at the top. But yeah, it's, I wanted this one because it includes stuff. If I just peel that off. There we go. I do think this is really nice artwork. And that on there. Uh, let's open it up because I will be ripping the discs. So yeah, this is a three disc set. I do own all eight films on Blu-ray already. On regular Blu-ray. And yeah, there we go. I do also have 4K rips. I do also have 4K rips of um, the first three, uh, 4K rips of all of the other films, so yeah. But there we are, I'm going to put that somewhere to rip for later, where can I put it? I'll just put it in tip of there. What could this be? What could this be? It's not that. It's not that heavy. I think it's pretty light. Okay. Ah, it's in a load of bubble wrap. There it is. So this I will be doing a review. On. I will be doing a review on. And if you're watching from this camera, it'll be on my other channel. And if you're watching from the live stream there, it'll be on that channel. So that's the indication. Bloody, there we go. Bloody rampage. So this is uh, the Doctor Fourth Doctor Maxi Bus uh, from the Masterpiece uh, Collection. Uh, so yeah, um, I think this is about fifty pound on eBay. It is, it has been opened before, but other than that, you know, it's still got the uh, foam in there. Polystyrene, ring I think it is and yeah um very happy to you know have this in the collection finally at last this is like one of them takeaway boxes for two just the way with the handles and that it's kind of like a takeaway box for two that they sell at supermarkets. What's in here? Um, okay, it's a couple of shirts. It's a couple of shirts. So, yeah, uh, here's the shirts that Ramesh Ranganathan steals from me, and here's the PB Props one that he steals from me. And if you get those references, well, you'll get the Ramesh Ranganathan one. Uh, yeah, probably I'll keep that box actually. That box, or well, my mum will want that box more <laughs> realistically. But yeah, that box will be. Um, that would be useful. So. Ah, 
That's why I don't like these ones. I like the ones that are plastic. Like, okay, it works better that way. So this, ooh, in here. So this is the Andrew Skeletor. Um, was it the Doctor Who Dalek Arcs of Andrew Skeletor? So yeah, I really wanted uh, this book for Christmas. So yeah, let's uh, let's have a look if we can. There we go, that's a good page to, you know, show it, show some of the art off, is it? Oh yes, that, that's a good one to show, that, that one is a good one to show. We also get a couple of other little goodies in here. So we get a couple of little uh, art cards, which is quite nice. Three art cards, three of them. And we also get a bookmark. So all of these I'm gonna put inside the book itself um, on that page. So they're all safe in there. So yeah, um, I can't remember how much this was. I can't remember if they're still available or not. But what I do remember is I wanted it I ordered it, I've got it. So, I have. A couple more smaller ones in here. I think I know what this is. Because of the size of the box, and that it's from Amazon. And my mum has opened this and taped it back up because of course she has, so it's going to make it more difficult. So yes, um, it's an Amazon Echo Dot. So yeah, um, this is the first one that is actually uh, mine, because uh, the ones here are actually my granny's, and uh, the one we have at home in the living room is uh, my mum's that I got her for Christmas, so yeah, this is uh, the first one that is mine, I will not be opening it here, because uh, that will be going to my room at home, but uh, what I generally use them for is to just ask them the time and set me reminders for things, that's generally all I use it for. What is this? What is this? Uh -huh, Nami. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> this is a surprise gift. Um, you can tell by the look of it and the fact that it was bought in the books gift section. I mean, it looks like a tool of some sort. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at this to see if it's actually any good or complete crap. Because uh, my mum knows I do like having, um, you know, tools for various things. Okay, so. I've got a tape measure that doesn't want to come out. There we go. So it's a tape, it's a tape measure on one hand end, which, uh, here's my, my regular tape measure. Which, uh, this thing, this one's for, um, from B&M that costs 250 So, got a tape measure on that end. Um... It has a sort of ruler um, across it. It has a sort of ruler across it. The only problem is, is that nothing is written across it. So, I don't know how you had it. So it's got a laser. It's got light. It's got levelers on there. It's a, a fucking weird thing. Also, I just pulled it out. There are no instructions in it. Inside it, yeah, it's pulled out, and unless an instruction booklet fell out, which I can't see anywhere, there are no instructions for it other than just like what it requires and stuff. So, yeah, there are no instructions on how you actually use it. Okay, there's a suction cup here where I think 
yeah there's a, that's a suction cup so you can put it on the wall it's a little laser um, which has no battery at the minute this is a bloody weird thing I think that's what it is um, yeah for four tiles. Anyway, it's a bit of a weird thing. Um, that's all right. That's all right. This is the kind of novelty thing I'm behind. Where it's at least, at least it's useful. At least it's useful. Will I ever use it? Don't know. And there was another thing in the box. What? Why? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What is this? It's just kind of an everything thing. Let's have a look. What is this? What's a you mad contraption? Come on. There we go. Here for twisty tie things. Okay, so it's kind of like a, a, oh that is actual, feels more like MDF than like proper wood, but uh, yeah, this is like kind of like a Swiss army knife kind of thing. So you've got, I mean that wouldn't really work as a hammer, but you've got, I guess, you know, sort of pliers on there. And, uh for measuring and that um, I'm not going to say you've got a little screwdriver that pops out and everything um, it's just a weird thing my dad used to have something like this um, yeah it's just a bit of a weird thing I think that's a knife but how do you get it out no it's not a knife it's a bottle opener Okay, so it's got a bottle opener on there, completely useless to me. Um, let's have a look at the picture, all the things. So none of them are a knife. I thought one of them was a knife, but... No, okay. I wanted one of them to be a knife because my dad had a one that had a knife on it and that was useful. Um, again, just a fucking weird thing. That's alright. I think that's everything for that first bag. Have a look. In case I missed anything in the bottom. No, I didn't. So what I'll do is uh, keep that bubble wrap. That'll be useful. But everything else I can put in there and use it as a bin bag. So, bag number two, eh? We're getting near the end, methinks. Which is good, because my back is really aching now. Okay, this is another surprise. So this is a uh, Mr. Man money box bus kind of thing with the thing on that. Is there something in here? Is that? I thought so. This bag of sweets in there, which I'm not going to open uh, for now. They'll probably taste horrible, but uh, you know, as a nice little, t as a nice little, you know box that is you know quite nice I can use I can use that to put stuff in there and it's a Mr. Meg thing I like that that's nice that I'm actually gonna put in my stocking bag um me thinks also for this camera to be aware there is another present there's another couple of presents that uh, one haven't arrived in two I forgot to bring so yeah 
Okay. I asked. <laughs> Only some people will get the joke with this. And I'm not going to see what it is. <laughs> it's a new toothbrush. <laughs> yeah, um, it's an Oral-B toothbrush. Um, the reason I like these is because I don't like the ones that just vibrate. I like the ones that twist. But, uh, yeah, it's an Oral-B toothbrush. Which, I don't know has got any power or not. But I might use it tonight. Um, after I've done this video and go, go up and brush my teeth and everything. Uh, if it's got no charge, then obviously I'll have to charge and just use it in the morning. But, uh, yeah. Also, tomorrow I'm cooking my own crystal in here. This one feels a bit lighter. This is another surprise. Hello. Ah, okay. Ah. It's another Lynx thing. It's, yeah, it's more Lynx dual drinking stuff. Uh, which... Scotton bag. Um, yeah, tip tip for Christmas actually, everyone. Just like literally put the wrapping paper and that in the bin as you're going along because it makes it much easier. I'm gonna have a drink right now. That's better. My throat is killing me because I've been talking for so long. It's a bag. Now, no doubt my mum will want to reuse this. In fact, she probably used it before. Because my mum's like that. She always reuses Christmas bags the following year. Or for birthdays or whatever. Um, so I'll do this careful. Oh Actually, while I remember... I showed this in a video before, but uh, this is an early Christmas present I got, and you might, be th and it's not the earphones. Uh, it's not the earphones inside, which are these, which are the Sony um, WF X one thousand XM fours. No, it's actually the case. It's actually the this little silicone case. Pardon me for them, uh, so that the case doesn't get scratched. The earphones themselves I, I bought myself. But uh, I thought I'd just mention that because that was an early gift Gift that mum just said, oh, just can I said to her, can I have them now? And she went, yeah. This is shirts. This is just more shirts. I'm stealing more shirts from other content creators. I, li I like that one. But uh, yeah, these are all um, from Primark. And uh, yeah, I do like my shirts. Um, I think one of them, one or two of them was off my granny. There we go. And I've got bits of glitter on my hand. Great. Oh. Okay. So this is a sort of surprise because um, I asked for it and my mum said she was getting us it. I didn't know exactly which one it was but I kind of gathered and yep. Three Stanley uh, chisels. Not chisels, files even. Uh, because last year I asked for files and she got me chisels instead. And she didn't realise they were chisels even though they said chisels on the front. So yeah, this year... She got me actual files, which, uh, yeah, and three different ones as well, which is good. I'm going to plop them down there. This one feels like it's in bubble. Oh, oh. <laughs> so she got me the Mr. Tickle one uh, for my birthday, and for Christmas she has got me... The Mr. Bump one! So yeah, this is uh, the Mr. Bump, um, like, uh, hot, hot water bottle kind of thing. Well, it's the kind of thing that if you stick it in the microwave, it heats up. But it's got these little beads in it. Notice it says uh, Mr. Bump on his ass there. There, yeah, there, there, there he is. He's, he's quite nice. 
He's quite nice. I, I like I like it. I don't like the fact that his smile is covered up though. Yeah. Also, that Velcro needs to be readjusted. There we go. But you can take the bag out and here, but I, I won't. Because one of, uh, they tend to smell these things. Like when you put them in the microwave, they do give off a, a really bad odour. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to have to put him down there for now. And I am reaching into the bag, but I can't see. Ugh. Come on. Oh. Oh. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. What is? Feels like a poop or something. What is this? Oh! <laughs> Fucking finally! Oh, finally, finally. So, this is 100, 100 outer sleeves for vinyl records. Oh, fucking finally. So, this is to protect my records, and this is uh, either 50 or 100 inner sleeves to protect my records. So, yeah, really needed these. I really needed that. I was. Because, uh, so, yeah, I really needed more of it. I see needed I need more of them because um the ones I got last year I've, I've run out of so yeah that's how my record's staying you know as perfect nick as possible is this the last yes so apart from the ones that I either haven't arrived or forgot to bring which is I think just two in total the last present what could the last one be also, this is not mentioning, obviously, uh, the money. What could the last one be? This might be a surprise, because I don't, I don't recognise it. I don't actually recognise it, so... You can have a glimpse before I can. Of just red. I think the reason my mum went a bit make Mr. Man kind of crazy is because uh, she found that, oh yeah, you still like, you like the Mr. Man, great, that's something else I can get you as a surprise, so maybe that's what this is, I don't know, is this a jigsaw? Oh, okay, so this is a uh, slush, um, this is the slush syrup uh, for my slush machine, which I haven't used in since January uh, last year when I got it not last year 2019 January 2020 I think is the last time I used my slush machine but there we go more syrup for that okay yeah so what flavors are this so blue raspberry great strawberry cool and I think the other one is a lime lemon and lime yep yeah. So, yeah, there we go. I think that's everything. So, yeah, um, there we go, people. Uh, that is Christmas. Oh, oh bugger. Oh, sugar bugger, that hurts. That's Christmas. Um, I'm going to turn the camera over and over and done with. Well, presents wise, anyway. Uh, for the most part. Um, yeah. What was my favourite gift? Um, probably the fourth got to statue. I'm gonna say probably. Uh, was probably my favourite. At least so far. Although, seeing that this is probably a close second or even first. I really do like this. This is really nice. So, um. Yeah, uh, my back is aching now, so um, I'm going to bid goodbye uh, to the recorded one, and I'll return to the live screen to ask questions. But, uh, yeah, th there we go, people. There we go.